is that we don't know how to respond rightly to our own weakness when we come against our own weakness. We tend to run away from God instead of towards Him. And that's rooted in the fact that we don't know that He really likes us, that He's really for us. And so I think that understanding that we can run towards God and, uh, and learning how to run towards God in our weakness instead of away from Him makes all the difference in the world. Psalm 1611. Um, and it says, You will make known to me the paths of life. In your presence there's fullness of joy, and pleasures evermore at your right hand. And I love how encompassing that is, that God is a good leader. He's a good shepherd. He's going to make known to me the ways that I should walk. Uh, he's going to guide me well. He's going to direct my steps well. He's going to realign me when I'm off base, which happens quite a bit. He's going to lovingly and tenderly steer and guide my life. He's going to bring discipline when I need discipline. He's going to make known to me the path of life. He's going to show me what it looks like to walk with Him. Uh, uh, there's pleasure evermore at your right hand, and there's fullness of joy in your presence. There is a, a, a delight. We were made to be connected with our God.